Welcome back to another episode. Okay. So let's just cut to the shit real quick. It's the end of the summer. Roggle's right. Another one. I'm done. <laughs> I'm sick. Summer's been done for me for about a week and a half now. I'm fried. <laughs> He's toasted. And not in like the good way, like Cheech and Chong, like preferred. No, not at all. Just yeah. With that said, as always, unscripted, um, completely impromptu shows, as always. If I didn't say that 30 seconds ago. Um, let's recap. My kids are already in school. Your kids are getting ready to go to school very soon. And <clears throat> this is the first year both my kids are in school. God, is three hours of peace and quiet. It's very weird. The voices in the head are a little bit louder than normal. <laughs> I say that's about how it goes when you've got constant chaos and then abrupt calmness. You don't know what to do with yourself. Nope. No, but it no. feels like once the once the craziness of school starts and the schedules happen, then like that's not crazy anymore because it's like it's a routine. Get out the door. Gone. It's a routine. And then, you know, it's it, exactly. It's just getting back in that routine is, is going to be a little tough. But hopefully, hopefully, Let me it doesn't take us can't too long. <laughs> yeah, you can't hear it. No, we're trying to get back in that routine is, is tough. Because like I said, we've got one day this week, and it's just literally like it's like three hours. They have so they can go in, see their classrooms, kind of adjust, see their schedule or whatever they have to get around. And then they just flat out start on Monday with everything else. So that's so that's so weird because like we started. So we started last week and they we did like the back to school, like bring all your shit to school. Mm -hmm. And um we did that the day before the first half day. And they basically got to see their classroom, where they walk and everything. We got to meet the teacher. They got to meet the teacher and meet up with their old friends. And then they have a half day immediately after that. And that's more just like laying down the, the rules of the classroom and getting all the uh, necessary requirements out of the way i guess would be the best way to put it yeah it we do, like we we're, do have that tomorrow. we're not we're just exhausted <laughs> <laughs> yeah we have that tomorrow where we, they they go in because we always do the order of the school supplies like at the end of the last year we ordered our school supplies for the next year so there's yeah. there should be waiting in her classroom all you have to do is just go pick it up and then take it in and put it away is that the so school that you do that the school does that very nice yeah, so they just, you have, they put together the order and then you select what you want, which one you want to do. Because they have, sometimes you have to add like headphones and yeah. a few other things extra. So you just put, get whatever package you have for that grade the, the next the next year, order it that then, and then it's there when you go in the next day. Interesting. So, or not the next day, but you go in the, yeah. to the meet the teacher part, and it's, it's in the classroom. So she has to do is find her name and then put her stuff in her desk or wherever else she's got to put that that stuff so we have to worry about bringing that stuff like my middle son's gonna be a freshman my oldest gonna be a senior so they're pretty much just taking a uh a pen and a notepad and book bag here you go and that's in because they're gonna have ipads and then whatever other random stuff they need because in the past they've gone out and like oh they need like three notebooks they three five folders and they don't use any of it throughout the entire year yeah so it's just like you're gonna take a pen, a notepad, and a pencil, and you'll pick up your iPad there, and then you're you're good to go. So like, then let us know if you need other stuff that we'll we'll adjust as we need. I want a calculator because I have to have a scientific calculator for math. So uh, cool, whatever. He eyes. I wonder if you can yeah. still get Mario on him. I, <laughs> I haven't seen that yet, but that's that's basically that with them so 
that sounds so nice and easy. Like, we get to go out shopping for all of our stuff. And I was, I was talking with the wife about it. I was like, man, because they tell you, like, go to Walmart. Mm -hmm. It's like, it really would be in the school's best interest to invest just a little bit in kind of a script, a script code that they can build this whole basket basically for you and you can order it from uh, on online. You can order it from Walmart, Amazon, Target, whatever, and have it shipped to your house or even just like shipped to a school or let, let the school do it because they do have to, they have to have headphones every year. Yeah. Uh, but I was like, it just makes so much sense to do it that way. But at the same time, like I get why and I can explain it very easily. Like I, uh, just where everyone's kind of aware, this is a little me boasting and I'm okay with it. I bought all of this, all the school supplies for both kids this year, completely with like door dashing one night. Like I made that much money that I could just go buy all the, the stuff I needed to. Anyways, went to Walmart, took the kids while the wife was at work. I was like, okay, let's go. Bought the book bag, the, the pencils, the crayons, all that stuff. Washable crayons, by the way. I was like, um, last I knew, my crayons were washable. Am I wrong? Did something change? Why are we advertising this washable? Anyways, my wife said the same thing when I showed her. I was like, hey, look at these crayons. Why are they washable? Are they all yeah? Anyways, digress. We had to go pick up headphones, and I went to the back. I was like, okay, you know, you got your headphones. You can have any of these. This row. Nothing above it. They're like $20, $30 <laughs> headphones. I was like, I'm going to buy a little bit more, a little bit better quality than last year. Um, I'm not going to drop $50, $60 on headphones that these kids are just going to tie the cable around the headphones or mm -hmm. around the cable. Like, no. So, went and got a lady to unlock it, and behind the lock cage and yet they're just like here you go no you can take it out front the fuck's the point of it being locked then? that's walmart whatever and so well i i got a i did pick up a phone case a while back it's behind a locked case too and they said no you have to pay for it back in your electronics yeah yep yeah. anyways so she picked out her headphones i think like they're pink and blue or something like that we have to go to the bathroom, and as I come back, there's another family looking at headphones for their kid. Same age as my daughter. And she goes, I want these, I want these. Beats. Beats. Get out of here. And no fucking way. She's, she's like, I want those, I want those, those uh, pink ones. I was like, oh my god, are you fucking serious? And all I hear the mom and dad say is, well, okay, are you sure you want those? You don't want, like, these black ones? You don't want... I was like, are we really? Are we really fucking even, like... Contemplating buying beat for a seven year old for school? Like, this isn't like, hey, you can have these at home or when we're going like on a walk or car ride. Right? No, no. For school, where there's a bunch of other little fucking assholes and their grubby little hands touching the shit. They bought them. And again, the ladies are like, here you go. <laughs> It, 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 it's, it floored my mind where I was like, I can't believe it. I know I sold tons of beats to to uh, parents for, for children. So it's not something I'm not accustomed to. Yeah, I mean, any more beats or headphones in general or just whatever. It's just that they're as normal as a cell phone anymore. Yeah. It's, it's not uncommon to see a five or six year old with a phone. Granted, it may not be theirs, but maybe their parents or whatever playing with it. With headphones in and everything else, but my kids have have them and everything else too. So my daughter doesn't, because um, we refuse to give her one. But yeah, the packages and stuff like that they help us out a lot because we don't have to go out and buy school supplies at all. They just have it at the school. We fill out what we want, and it's on the teachers to submit the order and everything else too. So um, that's so yeah, that just one one less headache for us to deal with. And then like today the school buses are they're running heat laps trying to figure out their routes and everything and it's like you guys are never on time and i, I can see exactly why because you see them coming down the street stop go i'm like y you're not this is not a pit stop this is not nascar you're not you're not stopping 
all kids are piling on in 10 seconds or less and you're out. No, you got one kid running out of his door, dragging his backpack. The other one's halfway down the street. No, you're, you're lucky if you're not there for five minutes doing this. But yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, go here, stop, go. Now, I know how <laughs> our, our bus driver does do it, though. If there's nobody at the, at the stop, he'll stop for, like, maybe two or three seconds like he is in his test runs today, and he's out. Just long he doesn't care if you're chasing him or not. <laughs> yep. Long enough for him to open the door, that stupid little yeah. thing to come out, fold back in, and go. And my son has chased the bus, and nope, he didn't stop. So we're trying to remember, like, where's the next, like, where's the next stop at? So he maybe can make it. So he goes, he tries to book it down that way. Didn't make it there either because, like, you know, two or three blocks the other way. After he's ran two or three blocks the other direction, so not and it's not a big deal. He's he missed like maybe once or twice, so I had to take him to school. But I, I'm not looking forward to that either. School drop off or school pickup. I actually mm-hmm. drop off. I can't stand. Oh, yeah. Pickup's worse, but I don't do a pickup anymore. So our our school got a new principal, and just to kind of like lay it out. I know it's been for at least two years, and if not longer, because I've talked to other parents. I was forced to talk to other parents because I had to respond to them. They were talking to me. Anyways, there's always been a system of, like, there's a bus lane in our school, Mm -hmm. and then there's, like, the parking lot that's literally just 10 feet next to it, and then there's a drive through loop. And, you know, big buses go to the, the bus lane, drop all the kids off, pick them up. Like, that's just where they go. No, no. Last year, super easy, super convenient. This year, now that we have a new principal, he has moved all bus pickups, minus the short buses, all bus pickups go to the secondary parking lot, which is behind the school, which is where a lot of parents used to just go park, get out of the car, and go wait for the kids. That is now 100% bus only. So now the pickup lane just got like exponentially longer. Top of that, the short buses are not allowed to come inside of the school parking lot. Parking lot, so they have to stay on the corner that you turn into the loop, and they have to sit there unloading and loading kids on and off the bus, causing this barely this street that barely can fit two cars with you know going up and down the street. Now you have to combat park cars for parents who are trying to go to school, a small school bus parked on the curb and you're just trying to like weasel your your car and hope you don't have a fat pickup truck in between the park and the bus and just wide loop to the right it's just such a pain in the ass and it's it's now taking probably about 20 minutes longer than what i did last year and i'm just so i'm so pissed yeah so we we've lived in the house right now for about five five years and the school the schools have probably been open maybe seven and they just now decided to change the whole layout of the road because it was just a two lane you know yeah. north southbound and so they widened it out to help out with drop off pickup yeah. and everything else because usually get backed up like crazy because you're coming off an interstate as well so there's an interstate within less than less than a half mile off that we don't have one so you get a lot of that <laughs> so you got people coming off that trying to get that and it's you know a 3.30 time frame when, you know, pickup is. So you got everybody trying to get there, pick up their kids. Not except for the people that are there an hour and a half before school even gets out and they're sitting in their car doing God knows what right there so they can be the first one to, to get their kids so they can go. Granted, they they can sit there for that long and think their kid's going to come right out. They're sitting there for another 45 minutes because their kid wanted to get in there and, you know, flip boogers at the, at the windows and try and see which one runs down faster. But... The kids never come out when you think they're going to. So all I do, when we don't, we live like a few blocks from the school anyways, but I just walk up there and wait if I have to do pickup, but like drop off, drop off is a fucking disaster. I hate drop off so much. I, I, I park and walk up. Yeah. So she does after school now, so I don't have to worry about that. But in the mornings, I'll, I'll park and I'll walk, I'll walk her up there. Now, if it does rain, I'll bite the bullet and go through the drop off, but we leave extremely early if it's raining it's like i'm not sitting in this line for days waiting for because there's there is a common courtesy when you are having two two lanes of traffic come together yeah it's like a zipper yeah very easy zipper merge left right left right left right right, yeah 
And then common common sense is okay. You pull all the way to to where you're, you need to go, and you're within like three feet of the bumper of the car in front of you. That's just yeah. that's just my head. I'm like I'm not like riding their ass being trying to be an asshole, but I'm trying. Like, I know people are trying to get in behind me. I'm trying to get up and get this done. Yeah. No, you got people that are that are parking here, and when you get to that drop off point, the conversations end. This is not time to talk about weekend plans, how much you hate your little brother, how much your sister is an asshole, why you want to do this with your kids, and how much you love them. No, it's time. Open the door, kick them the fuck out, and move. I don't want to have conversations. I don't care if your kid's off his backpack and is rolling across the, the parking lot. Just go. He's yeah. on his own at that point. I want to add one thing to that because I, I 100% agree with you on the whole damn thing. The only thing I would add is we have a bad problem here where like parents will get into the drop off lane and then they park their car, get out, and walk their kid to this front door, causing a big pile up because now no one can like, like it's just bumper to bumper. And I pull up close enough, probably like three, four feet, so where I can just swing it. If I do a hard turn left, I can swing out and just barely miss them but i've seen people to the point where like they can't they can't leave because they're they're parked so fucking close to the other car's ass and that car is literally the one where mom or dad gets out like come on little jimmy i'll walk you to school find a motherfucking spot yeah park it because we have limited time i got shit to do especially like now i got a granted they're only like half mile apart but the second school has very limited parking, side street, and parking lot in general. And if you can't find a parking spot, you're two to three blocks down. So it's such a bitch to drive to my daughter's school. And then we have construction on all major roads in Manhattan right now. Even though I'm going to quote the city of Manhattan, this is the summer 2024. This is the summer of construction to have all construction done before school. Guess when they fucking started construction? Three, Three weeks ago. ago. <laughs> Three motherfucking weeks ago. On all, I'm talking all the major roads coming out of, or off the highway into Manhattan, leaving Manhattan. The major strips, like you, right by the stadium. Like you, ooh, it's all supposed to be done by beginning of school. Too late for that. It's all supposed to be done before the first game. Too late for that. Like you fuckers, <laughs> you guys all suck ass. But we have to go drop him off. We have to drop my daughter off at school, so we can't walk anymore. So we gotta drop my son off. So and then I drop my wife off. So it's all just like a fucking leapfrog. So I drop the the my daughter off, and then we have to literally try to go through the whole parking lot, try to get out the line, and hopefully not get stuck by anybody. And then we have to flip it and then go down the roughest fucking construction to the point like it's. It's full on like riding a bowl, and you're just like, oh, great. Awesome. Yeah, those are awesome. <sighs> Did you hold your drink? Nope. Soaking wet. Awesome. So, and then get to the other school, and we can't, we can't drop him off. Like, we can't just be like, the fuck out of the car. We have to yeah. get out and walk him to the school, yeah. and thankfully it's all just pre K, so we don't have to worry about any other kids. But we'll walk him in. This little dude. Like, if you think I talk a lot, amplify that by a thousand. Just fucking talk. But That's my daughter also. He's talking to my wife. He's talking to me. Talking to my wife. Talking to me. Oh, look, a child. Talking to the kid. Saying hi to every mom. Just the moms. Not the dads. Saying hi to every teacher. Because they're all girls. Saying hi to every child. I'm coming to school. Hi. Like, he's super friendly. I'll give it to him. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> But like today, today he was just talking. I was like, come on. I had to push him on the head a little bit. I say, hi, hi, friend. Is she in your class? I don't know her. We're going to talk about stranger danger. Okay. <laughs> but so go drop him off. And I can say without a doubt, and my wife still does not admit it, but I will admit it. Uh, when we dropped him off yesterday, it was the first day. And this little motherfucker. Like, I do I do a whole pep talk for my daughter when we, like, on the drive to school. You know, it's always, we're going to have a good day. Yep, we're going to, like, we're going to behave. Yep, we're going to listen. Yep. And then make her basically do, like, uh, some form of affirmation. You know, whether, hey, I'm smart or 
I am nice, whatever. Just something to keep her in that that mindset. Mm -hmm. The same thing for my son. He thinks it's funny. Are we gonna hit another kid? No. But if they hit me for I'm gonna punch them through in the face. Okay, don't start it though. <laughs> so start. Uh, but we so we go to drop them off, and all these kids are saying, you know, saying goodbye to their mom and dad, giving him a hug. One kid has a full mental breakdown because he's leaving his mom for the first time, so he's crying. And then as all the kids are saying uh, uh, goodbye, hugs, kisses, some crying. Here's my little son who's just like the teacher says, "Oh, hi, are you ready to come in?" Yep. Okay, I guess he's not gonna say bye to us. And all day, even like after we picked up, picked him up three hours later, he didn't, he didn't say bye to me. I'm hurt. He didn't say bye to me. He's been stuck at home for four years with just me. Yeah, I'd be fucking bouncing too. Saying this is my first taste of freedom. Fuck you all. I'm going. <laughs> and. <laughs> So we dropped him off this morning and I said, hey, I tell him, it's like, hey, you need to make sure you tell mom, your mom bye and that you love her, okay? Give her a hug. And he just does this little notion. No hands. He just leans up against her. Bye. And walks in. So he said bye to you. I'm out of here. But he was just, he was so ready. And he's the last kid to leave the classroom. Even if I'm there, mm -hmm. I don't know, 25 minutes early to get a parking butt. And... He's the last one. I just I just say bye to everybody. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's go. I got shit I want to do. It's not being in school. Spent already spent thirteen years of my life in one. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's the same routine on the way out. Same bye. Same bye. And he has four teachers in a classroom of seven pre K. Four teachers. One's a para. But he hugs each one of them. Tighter, longer than he does his own mom. <laughs> and he's like, I miss you. Uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. And they're all so, like, they're younger girls, like, maybe fresh out of college, except the main teacher, she's your age. And he's just hugging and trying to be so nice and sweet. I'm just like, Uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Over here. I literally just like push on his head, or I've gotten too used to. It. I just palm his head. Just come on, let's keep going. Well, you yeah, got, you got, you got to guide him in some yeah. some way without grabbing the back of their head or grabbing their shirt. Like, okay, let's go. Walk I, this literally, way. I literally just palm his head. And I was like, yep, and I redirect him like a joystick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's exactly what you gotta do. Cause the same thing, like back with like the drop off stuff. Like, I'll hop out real quick if I know my daughter needs help getting out. Just because, like, the, the SUV, like, but we you're have the... Like, fucking walk him to the front. No, no, I'm not parking the damn car. I'm like, all right, and, and we're talking about this as we're driving up. Yeah. Like, hey, we're going to get to this point. You got, like, maybe 30 seconds, and then we're getting out. Okay. Cool. I don't care what you're talking about, but once you once you see this door open, your mouth goes shut, and you open that door, and you get out. Like, we're not having any more conversations. It's time to go. It's time to get out. I have a huge problem with this one. That's why I went back to it. Because I, hey, I can't stand it. It drives me no, nuts. I, I'm with you on that. I'm with you. It just, I, I don't get it. And then there's other parents that think it's funny to drive up next to you and let their kids out. Like, no, 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 no. That's not how this works at all. I waited my happy ass here just because you think you and the other crotch rockets can just kind of hop out whenever you want to. No, no, no. And then I have to wait because you and the 16 other failed pullouts have to pull, have to walk in front of my car? No, that's not. We're gonna have a problem. <laughs> we're gonna have a serious problem. You better get your shit together, sew it up, get out of my way. Because I'm not dealing with this shit all year long. Too late, sew it up. Uh, oh, something. Nothing else needs to fall out of there because it's been a while. <laughs> so, I I do. I hate I hate drop off. I I all. I can't. I, I hate drop. I don't want to pick up either. But I just, I will take drop off see. over over pick up just because. Like, especially like how it is right now. Just a pure chaos of kids running everywhere. Well, that's the thing. Like, they released the kindergarten first, and then it's like mm -hmm. a few minutes in this first grade, then a second grade. My daughter's class should be getting out. And like, I know the time they're supposed to be out. So we're there in mm -hmm. advance. She likes to talk to. 
but she likes to help all the teachers. And so she likes to say hi to, hi and bye to her current teacher. So she'll say bye. And then as she's walking along, she sees her teacher from last year and her teacher from two years ago. So she likes to stop and say hi and like give them hugs and say, you know, I miss you, whatever. She's catching up with them. I was like, you don't need to do this. Every-. Like you can say hi and bye, but we don't need to do this whole lot. Catch up. Get your fucking ass to the car. And I've had to have a talk with her. Um, a couple times because I can see her like back behind a fence talking to other kids and she comes out I was like why are you why are you the last kid to come out oh I was saying hi or I was talking with so and so or another kid needed help or another parent needed help I was like look I'm I'm so happy and so glad you're super nice and you love helping people out I don't got patience for that okay I'm not trying to be be nice point not trying to be mean i'm just saying um let the mom and dad parent let the mom and dad be moms and dads and let them take care of their own little kid mm-hmm. you need to get your ass into my car so we can go back home oh okay yeah, she's, she's the intro- introvert's had his fill okay can't take it no more it was still that nine o'clock this morning but it's just, yeah, and it's just, I will, I will gladly take drop off versus uh, pick up. But we had somebody at pickup, thankfully, uh, my kid wasn't ready, but somebody literally pulled up beside, like, car number four or five in the line, and she parked her car and got out. And all of a sudden, I just hear people blaring on the horn behind, and of course, I hear a horn, and my first reaction is, bitch, you better not be fucking honking at me. I'm in a motherfucking line just like you are. Can't move. And that's when I like look up from my phone. I was like, oh, you stupid bitch. God damn it. Yeah. yeah. And she and the fucking balls on these people. They'll just slowly like walk out. Nonchalantly, you know, casual. Like it's no big deal. That they just held up both lanes. Nobody could leave behind them. I mean, I've I've had those days where I'm like, I don't fucking care. I'll park, I'll park in the fucking sidewalk and walk my kid up there. It's like, I don't give a fuck mode, but I don't think I've ever done it. I know I've had those days. Like, I just, you know what? I don't even want to wait anymore. Let me just hop this curb, park it right here. You guys go ahead and walk off, and I'll just figure out how to get out of here. But I want you guys in school. It's like, a chest four-wheel drive. It's fine. I need you guys away from me. <laughs> I will drive through this creek, across, across the lawn, and I'll get you there. I don't care what we leave behind. Just never look back. Just keep eyes forward. We'll see what happens. It's 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 so ridiculous. And I mean, it definitely doesn't help to that. It's the end of summer, beginning of school year, so it's just pure mm-hmm. chaos. But chaos leading from a summer chaos leading to a structural chaos, so yeah. to speak. It's just by like week three or four, I'll be fine. <laughs> I can't say the same about you, but I'll be fine. And I'm just like, ugh, I'm not ready to say this. And You'll always drop off. Because you have, you have pre-K and first grade? Second grade? That's oh, right, yeah. The same same grade, I forgot. Yeah, I was like, they're, they're oh. the same age. <laughs> so it's, so you don't have a whole lot with, with either one as far as, like, activity-wise. I know the, the second grade, they'll have, like, a, a concert here or there, depending on what they have. At least, yeah. at least mine does. Two or three concerts, yeah. It's like a, like a, a fall, winter, and spring yeah maybe or just a, a winter spring whatever but oh well, no idea. you get the middle child who has show choir baseball whatever other activity he can tend to find that this high school would like to provide that likes to just suck in every single fiber of the being of the, that we are and we live at the school i get it he loves it he gets in everything i'm proud of him for doing everything like that cool whatever. such a catch-22 <laughs> like, like, like yay, good yes you're involved you. doing stuff but i don't want to live at the school like you spent 13 the years there around, all right but yeah like the parents are fine i just can't stand the fake parents like oh it's so good to see you good night no i'm not overly happy to be here and you shouldn't be either it's like no i don't care if Fucking Joe Bob is an amazing singer. Like, cool. They're all good. High five. Let's get out of here. I would, like, I don't, I don't need this like overly um, energetic bullshit. I will give you that one. Like, keeping my second day at preschool. Some one of the parents, 
I, I don't recognize her at all. And maybe she saw me at pick up out or at drop up. I don't know. But she's like, oh, it's so good to see you and insert my son's name. And I went, uh huh. What? Do I know you? Like my face said everything. I felt the facial structure just like condensed down to, who the fuck are you? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, uh huh. Yeah. Come on, little dude, let's go. And like, I'm still like purple. Who the fuck are you? I didn't see you this morning. Maybe I did. Uh-huh. I don't know. And it's like my and my daughter's made friends or like that too. So I have to be cordial to their parents. Like, yes, I have to maintain something because if we're gonna go to like some birthday party, because they they tend to have those things, we'll go there and they'll have you know, oh hey, good good to see you. Yeah, good, granted, good thing is white people get to drop off and leave. <laughs> the white people thing, you drop your kids off and you leave. Anything else like any other? And this is this is what I've been told from the other side of the house. It's not normal she's not used to it at all like it blew her mind the first time first time she did i'm like yeah that's how it was when we grew up it's like that was not yeah, how it was for you, us you drop you drop us off and well, we go from there but like that's how that's how it always was like different to yeah me. yes it was the same but it was more like my friend kelly was three blocks across the town so you know the other three blocks is the railroad tracks when you're outside of mount hope so, yeah very small town but yeah mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't drop off. It was more. Oh, you going to his birthday party? Take a backpack and your your sleeping bag. You're walking. Yeah, that was that was then. Now it's a little different. It's more of like, okay, well, you got like a four hour block here, and then pick your kid up and get out of here, type thing. So you can drop him off, but like we make sure we're there like ten minutes before. It's like if anything's going crazy or we need anything, yeah. what not to. So so we've got that, but like. It blew her mind when she found out that she was just going to drop them off. Granted, the first one she ever did, she was in first grade or kindergarten, one of the two. Obviously, she's very young. Cool. Understand. So she goes. She's like, I don't want to leave. I'm like, that's fine. You don't have to leave. Just hang out. So I don't want to talk to the people. I'm like, well, I don't know what you to do. (laughs) So I'm not staying here. I don't want to stay. (laughs) We both can't be awkward. That's the thing is we're both just going to sit in the corner and stare. Because I don't talk to anybody, you don't want to talk to anybody. So they we they can't see both weird parents there not doing anything. Like we have to be weird apart. We can't be weird together because that just makes it weird for her. Like one of us has to bite the bullet and be the weird one, and it's gonna be you at this point. I'm so glad. I mean, I'm glad you guys are the same way like we are. The only difference is the touch of the tism, and the fact like I can be awkward. And I'll totally be awkward, but the moment somebody talks to me, as long as like it sounds civil or sounds nice and not a bitchy Karen or Kyle coming at me, I will respond. But the problem is, is I have to find something to like relate with you on. I do this with everybody who like, I will never be the first one. Like, Hey bro, how are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's your kid over there. Oh yeah. My kid. No, I will never be that one. But I definitely have had several parents come up to me and like we went to we went to a birthday party last year for not for my daughter but my daughter my son and i went to a birthday party for one of her friends who is um from the middle east i i know which i know which country i can't think of it right now but they're from the middle east like dad and mom are first generation americans uh, family has oil money type middle east super nice family and Went there and my daughter is like, okay, dad, I'm going to go talk to my friends. I'm like, cool. Okay. I'm going to go sit here. And now I have the awkwardness of like, my son wasn't supposed to come. But at the same time, like I messaged, I was like, Hey, like my wife works. I, I'm the stay at home parent. Is it okay if I bring my son? And the mom was just like, oh, absolutely. Like we rented out the discovery center. We'll have all the food, the cake. You don't need to bring anything. And they literally say, do not bring a gift. And we brought a, uh, just a card that says happy birthday. And then mom was literally like, I got death glares. Cause I brought a card. It's like, this is just, this is not what we're supposed to do anymore. So I was like, Hey, here you go. I gave it to my daughter. Like, go give it to your friend. I just saw the mom go, Oh, you got a card. Who's it from? It's from her. And she goes, hi. And she just goes, oh, that's so nice. She said no gifts. I'm sorry. I didn't think card counts. But anyways, and I remember just sitting there. 
I didn't know any fucking parents. Mm-hmm. But the dad came over, sat by me, and he just he goes, Oh, I don't I don't think we've met. I was like, Oh no, we haven't. I don't like know anybody here. I don't know you at all. I was like, I don't know anybody here. He goes, Oh, well let me introduce you. I went, Oh, okay. Yay, this is so gonna, be, like, gonna be awkward. I was like, Okay, yeah, sure, why not? So he introduced me to like the six other dads that are there. And they all look just as miserable as I do, being forced there because the wife is there with them too. So How like, many of those names do you remember after he introduced you? Two. Oh fuck, I, I wouldn't remember any of them. Uh, I'm doing. I I did work for two of them, so oh, I, okay. I have conversations with them. Uh, but that's literally where it wound up to like we're talking, talking, and it's mostly them talking. I'm just sitting back listening, and somebody goes, "Hey, what about you, Sig? Like, what 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 do you do?" I was like, "Oh, well, I'm a, I I do graphic design, I do video and audio editing, uh, content creator." And, you know, I run a small little business doing all that enveloped. I help anybody. Uh, and while I was like, what designs do you do? I was like, oh, I dabble mostly in the content creation field. Uh, but I do small business. And he goes, really? We're needing, like, we're wanting a new logo. What would you, what would you charge? So I had to have this whole conversation, like, price and everything. And it got to the point where I was like, <laughs> I would rather not discuss this at birthday party. It doesn't seem professional in my head. But at the same time, like, the fuck else am I gonna do? <laughs> exactly. S- sit there, and be awkward, or sit there, and be awkward, and have this conversation. So I sat there, I talked to them all, and they he literally just goes, "You know that's cheap, right? Is your work good?" I was like, "Yeah, my work's really good." And that's not just like me bragging. Like I have reviews. I have. I can show you tons and tons of emails of people saying like, "This is a lot better work than." Paying double the price, triple the price, quadruple the price. He like, you ever done a business? So, yeah, I showed him a few business logos I done, and he literally like on the spot. He goes, "I'll give you a hundred for it." I was like, "Oh, it's only 50 He goes, "No, that's too low." I paid our last guy five uh, five hundred dollars for a logo. I was like, "Oh, do, do you mind if I see it? It's just letters." I went, "Sorry, you paid five hundred for that." He goes, yeah, I was like, hold on. And of course, here's me being like the super nerdy awkward ADHD, whatever you want to call it. I'm going through my phone. I was like, hold on, I've seen that font. I've seen that font. So I go through it. Finally, go, hey, just so you know, this font name is XYZ. It comes on my, all Microsoft and Apple devices. Like, it's a default font. Like, you, you have access to it. He didn't do anything special to it, except add the border. He goes, really? Thank you for that. <laughs> and, like, and then, of course, another guy asked the same thing. And the before I could tell them what my price was, the first guy there was like, he starts off at $100. It's so, like I do work for them, and they periodically will check in on me and ask me if there's like, any other work that I can do for them or if I have any skill in, like, this side of the house. And it's like, oh, I know how to program. I'm certified. I, I know how to code. I know how to become a developer I know Google I know C++ all this stuff and literally just probably two months ago they're like we may have a spot that we need a tech guy to come in just troubleshoot some stuff to see what's going on okay well you got my email I don't give my number out anymore so it's like you got my email so feel free to hit me up and I'll check it and we'll see what we can get done well what's your starting rate I don't know. I'm very true. I like a court. I speak and even type before I, I think I respond with, I don't know. I like, it's always just, well, can you afford? I know you can afford a lot of money. Yeah. That's the only time it's ever worked out. Other times it's me seeing the corner. Just it's tough. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Hi. No. So I get to be the, the social awkward when it's my wife and I. People will talk to me for whatever stupid reason. This face is approachable. <laughs> just so you know, typical service call, like where we would, is like just flat rate, just so you would drive there, it's $500. Just mm-hmm. to give you an idea. Of Not what here. That would be, so that's well, that's what ours is. 
Nice yeah. stuff flat back just to drive that direction. The, the, How far? the cheapest I could find in town that does any type of tech service call starts off at $800 for the service itself. And then they do a service fee on top of it at like $10 an hour. So it's it's all compounded to the point where it on average is about a thousand. Oh yeah, no, we're not we're not a tech company that you just like yeah like geek squad. We're, we're not like that. But this is like, that this is like company. mom and pop and other than that yeah, geek no, squad one that does it. Yeah, no, but it's that's more just like we're the corporation that we're with. Um My but no, I like, the Sure. <laughs> I I joked around too, I was like, Ozzy, you could just buy me lunch and a thing of candy and I'll do it. And they're like, Don't tell people that. It's like I'm not saying I'm easy, I'm just saying it works. The money you're gonna pay me is gonna. <laughs> I'll get in the van for for a hot gator, hot gator in a Snickers bar. Just open it in. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's open it on there. So no, it's functions like that. I don't do the best at, especially if it's like at somebody's house, because I don't like being in people's houses. Uh, I don't know. I don't want. I for one, I don't like being there. Two, I won't eat your food, so don't offer it. I mean, you offer it to me, cool, whatever. I will politely decline i won't eat cake i won't eat cupcakes none of that stuff i don't i don't eat that stuff at parties i'm weird i just don't do it um i won't eat unless i'm comfortable and i'm never comfortable anywhere else outside of the house normally or like a, a friend's house that's about one place you'll ever see me eat um and i don't want to have all these conversations about your kids because i don't care at all like i don't care how good your your kid is it's like if i get along with the kid like my Middle side, like playing sports like that. Like I've coached a lot of their kids. It's a totally different story. Yeah. I've seen what they do. I know what the, I know them. I've talked to them. They've been over here, you know, st- staying the night and whatnot. And my son's gone there. Different story. We've had a lot of conversations. We'll talk about kids. But I like your kids are like seven years old. They haven't accomplished anything except for not shitting their pants when they walk out the door. Okay. I don't care what your kid's done. Like, oh, she was a she was in gymnastics. And, yeah, cool. She did like front rolls and cartwheels like that's not, they're not impressing me at all can you do a front roll on cartwheel yeah i did the other day when i fell on the stairs no no so voluntarily can you do a front roll on cartwheel i'm sure if i uh cartwheel yes i uh part of my leg was numb after i did it but yeah we did it the other day i found out i could do one cartwheel that's that's about we'll end that whole gymnastics fiasco with the kids because i got dared and i should have just been the adult and said no like, no, I'm not falling for your little games. Of course not. I was like, oh, yeah, I can do it. Watch this. Oh, that doesn't that doesn't go that way. Something stretched longer than it should. It, it was pretty similar, except it was like my daughter, it was a couple years ago. My daughter's like, I don't know how to do a cartwheel. Of course, she's breaking down. And I remember telling her, I was like, I can do a cartwheel. Let me, I can show you. And there's my wife fucking gaslighting me. You can't do a cartwheel. You're 30 years old. You can't do a cartwheel. Anymore. I can do a cartwheel. No, you can't. It's like, damn it. Come outside. Got the kid to go outside. Like, this is how you do a cartwheel. Put the hands. Do it like this. Ready? And I do it. And the moment I did, of course, I was like, oh. it's, I felt it. I went inside. <laughs> I was just like, I told you I could do a cartwheel. I was like, I didn't see you do it. I wasn't outside. Fuck you. I did a cartwheel. <laughs> Like my daughter in the saw it and she gaslights me too, going, I didn't see it. Have you, ever you the, my room. have you ever tasted the bottom of my boot or my shoe? <laughs> nope. Let me show you. I'm grabbing the ice pack too. Don't want to hear anything. <laughs> so leave me alone. It's, it's not for me. It's it's for my computer. It needs to cool down. It's overheating. Exactly. So, yeah, so I have all the fun activities like that because we already have one planned. It's in like two weeks. Jesus. They already got invited. School hasn't even started yet, and they're sending out invites already. It's like, really great. Cool, this is going to be fun. And you can't take that stuff to school anymore. You can't take nope. invites to school because, God forbid, your asshole kid doesn't get invited to the party. You know, if your kid didn't suck, maybe he'd be invited. That's not my problem. You know, okay? So you can't do that anymore. They're limited on anything they can take when it comes to um, gifts or like that. The parties anymore are ridiculous. Granted, they probably don't need to have any more Valentine's Day parties. It's whatever. 
you know, at that point, like, cool. I'm so like that, candy, and then, so keep having them. It's fine. No, they can't. They can't bring candy anymore. Mm. Not allowed to bring candy. You're allowed to do the cards. That's it. Yeah, the, the boxes that, you know, God forbid, you threw the one away that they made in kindergarten that she still has that's holding together by, like, two threads. And I'm pretty sure if she sneezed on it, it's going to fall apart. So she has to take that one. But we just have to wrap, wrap it around, you know, paper around it and glue it again to make sure it holds strong for this one last time that we're going to be one last timing for another six years or however long she has these parties for. Because, yeah, they've, they've stripped they've stripped candy from it. You can't bring candy for those anymore. Um, birthday parties, or birthdays, not birthday parties, but birthdays, you can bring something, but it has to be store-bought yep. and sealed, vacuum-packed, biohazard sticker-proven, everything else brought in. It's like, oh, my God, you can't have a nut allergy. That's, that's like... I was like, I want a peanut butter and jelly. I was like, fuck, take it. I don't care. If you kill, if you kill Billy Bob because he had a peanut allergy, he's fucking weak. Okay, you're doing everybody a favor. All right, I don't care. Okay, survival of the fittest. Gin pull cleansing. You're doing, you're doing God's work at this point. If he, if he can't handle because you're sitting there eating Jif peanut butter and he dies, that's whatever. You know, that's his problem. Okay, that's all we can afford right now. You're eating peanut butter and jelly. Okay, don't give a shit. Fucking peanut oh, allergy. You know what? Don't be a punk and just get the fuck out of here. Go sit in the corner next to the trash can. Hope another peanut butter sandwich is following you and take you out. Shit drives me nuts. I hate fucking peanut allergies. It's so fucking stupid. It's a very serious one, but yes. I, I hate it. Uh, as somebody who lived next, who was like next door neighbor had a peanut allergy, like very well versed in it. Uh, it was also fat times too. Store. <laughs> no, we we were chill. Yeah, I had to line his I had to line his front lawn with peanuts in there. He couldn't walk out. No, like we. Hey, hey Bob, come outside. <laughs> we can do Valentine's parties still, and they bring candy. Birthdays, they have to do like it's all pre uh, pre packaged store bought type thing. I remember, yeah. I, I I distinctly remember. Uh, Grant when she was in pre K, COVID was just wrapping up, and. I remember asking, and they're like, yeah, you, like, you can't make anything. I was legitimately butthurt. Because I was like, I know how to bake. You know, so I'm excited. I get to do this stuff. I, like, that was a milestone. Then being told, you gotta go buy this shitty fucking Walmart cake or the shitty fucking Dylan's cake. We, we, we ball out a little bit. We get Ivy. It's a little bit better. <laughs> so fucking annoyed. And... Uh, so she, that, that's annoying, but, like, they still get bring cake, cupcakes, cake, and, um, candy for Valentine's Day, even Christmas, too. I will say, because you mentioned not eating cup, or cake at a party, that birthday party my daughter went to last year with the Middle Eastern couple, um, and her kid, their kid, I, I'm typically the same way, like, I don't eat other people's, like, even if it's store, but I just don't eat, typically, at other people's house. When, we, when I went up to y'all's to watch World Rumble and Lane mm-hmm. bought the pizza, he's like, hey, go grab a slice. Oh, I'm good. Like, I'm good. Like, I I don't know if this pizza's any good. Like, I I don't know if my son is going to agree with dairy tonight or not agree with dairy tonight. Like, there's too many factors. It is that pizza sucks. It's scored than lights. That pizza's horrible. And, like, I told you that, too. You got you the shitty pizza. Like, asshole. I, it's it's it, it's a risk, and then I had to drive, you know, fucking eight hours back home the next day, early in the morning. So I don't know if my son just gonna handle this, but him and the other two that were there early on, I was like, oh, you gotta have it, you eat some, eat some. Made me a plate. I was like, Christ, I guess I'm eating now. The <laughs> middle the middle eastern couple did that with the cake and adult beverages. I I, mm-hmm. I was really okay with that. Like. Here, they literally go, here's a white cloth. Oh, I don't like white cloth. Well, you should try it and just hand it to me. I was like, I don't like white cloths. I don't know what to do with this. You got water? No. Exactly what's in your hand. Fuck, shut up and drink it. So I was like, <laughs> so like fuck this shit. And the same thing with the cake. Again, I'm not big on chocolate, so it's always, oh, no, thank you. And I typically lie and say, oh, I'm full. Or I'm not hungry. Some bullshit to get me out of it. 
Take a slice. Take a slice. Maybe you eat it later. I don't want. Take a slice. No, thank you. Here's a slice. Take it or you'll wear it. <laughs> what do you want? So like I had and, and I had to remember I was like, okay, like culturally speaking, it's it's different. And I have mm -hmm. like I'm aware of it, but I have to like I had to dive into my head of how many times can I say no before it's it's deemed offensive because I had to be taught all this when I was over in Germany because it's a massive culture pot over there too and I was traveling. Yeah, I was just like, okay, yeah, sure. Thank God my son ate all of his cake and went another slice. I was like, here you go. Eat this one. Save me. She brought No, me and I, I get that. <laughs> I get that too. Is that yes, if you're gonna if you're gonna bring it to me, if you're gonna go out of your way to bring it to me, yes, I'll take it. I will eat it in a corner like a <laughs> Like I've never, I've never eaten food before. I'll be hunched over in a corner, kind of eating it, just like, okay, I need to get this gone quick. <laughs> I don't, I don't want him to know that I'm eating it. I don't know. I'm weird. Like I have to eat with it the quickly. ring. I, I get like, and, and it's not like they'll bring me like, oh, here's a little piece. It's, it's a gigantic. It's like a quarter it's the of the biggest, cake they bring it's me. The biggest. And I'm like, oh, cool. So I'm like, okay, how can I attack this thing to get it gone as soon as possible? So I get like four gigantic bites that I'm taking. I got cheeks sticking out, trying to make sure I don't look like an idiot eating this. Obviously, I do, because I'm trying to get through it so fast. But at the same time, I think I've talked about before, like when we go to Mexico, they make a, uh, a, a it's like a, it's not cake, but it's treated like that, but it's got like cheese and bread and cheese spread oh, yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. I, I, I can't stand it. Um, and but they give it to me I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll eat it, but I have to, I think it's, I don't know if I've talked about the podcast or not, but I have like Coke there. Cause they have Coke with every, every, like, it's like, it's like, every, no Coca-Cola. Oh. Um, they have that with everything. So it's like, you always have a Coke no matter what. So I have to have that and like, Oh yeah, sure. And I, oh, I, I beg, I beg for a small slice. Like, no, I, like I have to have something small. So like, no, I got the, I got a big slice of it. I can't stand it. It's like, I eat it and like it hurts me to to eat it because I know I don't like it and it's one of those things of like if I was to taste it wrong I would probably throw up and I like fear doing that so I'm like I'm not gonna say no because I don't want to be rude so I eat it but like after every bite I hold I, I'm taking a drink so I'll, I'll finish like the tall glass Coke in like two minutes because I'm shoving this thing in my mouth and taking a drink and my it's, stomach hurts so bad it's like a fucking chaser oh my gosh it's it hurts so bad, but like I don't because they're so nice with everything that they have, they, yeah. and what they provide is more than what they normally have. So I was like, okay, I, I can't be rude. And I've told my kids this story numerous times. They're like, well, you say, I'm like, you know damn well I can't say no. You know, even with you going to your grandparents' house, who are also Hispanic, you cannot tell them no. They're gonna say, oh yeah, here you can have this as they're shoving it down your throat. It's not like a no. So. They're like, well, why, why just, just shut up and do it. Like, that's all it is right now. Just, you just accept it. It's going to happen. But like, hopefully the more we go to these, I get to know some of them. So I don't have this problem, but I don't think it's going to happen because I don't go to very many of them, but I know I'm going to be forced to go to them, but I don't want to hang out at them. Yeah. Cause I know I have the, the one that's in a couple weeks. It's it just, again, just drop off with white people one. They're just dropping them off and leaving. So and pick up like two hours later we're good so that's fine but like the other stuff we've got coming up because it's going to be another concerts games like the the sports stuff doesn't bother me as much it's like the concerts and everything i have to sit there with all everybody else and be quiet and listen to these songs that i don't know where they find these songs nothing is like new age ever it's always some ancient 1920s Oh, this is an amazing song by so like no, I don't I don't care. I don't know what you're saying. They can remix Beach Boys all they want, but like there's so many times that I can only hear these songs that make absolutely no sense or I don't even care about. It's like yeah. and it's at least it, and it's show choir, so it's like it's eventful. It's not just like them standing there and singing. They're dancing and doing other stuff around and my son does a good enough job for he actually has solos, so I enjoy watching the parts where he has that stuff as well. So but like there's so many of them. They are constantly competing 
And it's like, oh, he's got a show here. I'm like, I just watched him. Like, oh, we got to go again. Like, oh, no, I just watched him. It's the same show. Like, why, why are we going again when we know exactly what he's going to do? Like, I get supporting it. I'm fully behind everything, but we've seen it before. I've seen this episode. Like, I don't want to watch it again. Same shit. Different. It's like, yeah, it's, it's the same thing. Like, I've seen this one. It's a repeat. You know, like, I, I get it, but, like, can you throw another episode in before I see the next one? The same one again? Like, let's progress this story. And it's like Groundhog Day. Over and over and over. I can't, I can't just keep seeing the same thing. Like, do something different. Like, oh, we have another show. Yeah, cool. Can you sing, you know, another five different songs? I heard the first in five. Spanish. Let's hear let's hear let's hear something else from the from the B side. You know, give me give me the other side of the track. Let me know what's going on here. Where do you progress from here? So and then like their competitions get insane as well, but I'm here uh, for it, I guess. Not going I, anywhere. Uh, uh, mm, we'll see. I'm not looking towards that, but I know this is also the first year she'll have uh, school activities that she can actually sign up for and do it. Okay. She's already, she's already been like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. It's like, who the fuck told you you get to do that? I'm gonna do it all. My teacher, I was like, well, let me tell you something. We gotta look at the, you know, we gotta look at the finance, see if we can do it. Uh, oh, it's free. You, uh, yeah, it's always free. <laughs> and I, and it's not me trying like deter her, so don't take it that way. Not you, other people, whoever's listening. Uh, I know that way is. <laughs> <laughs> but I I always pull out the well you understand if you start this you are going to finish it there is no mm-hmm. quitting halfway through there's no quitting after two weeks so you can go try it out but understand I'm going to give you one practice and if you think you like it we're sticking through it if you think this isn't for you cool let's move on and so far that's kind of worked but it's also kind of bitten in the ass too because she's fucking strong headed like me. So, I'm like, hey, fuck you. But that's that's how it goes. I'm not, I'm not looking toward that. I know it's going to happen. Uh, but, like, it's, uh, it, it'll be something. And she, she already has all these friends who, thank God, her, like, all her classmates for the most part, they don't have their birthdays until beginning of 2025 like the beginning of the year mm-hmm. so there's a couple sprinkled throughout the fall winter time frame but for the most part it's all like beginning of next year but there's always ones where like you had to, like you said the same here you get to invite everybody or nobody type situation uh, thankfully we use an app for all the parents to kind of talk with the teachers i'm sure you probably use the same one or something similar to it yeah uh but they're really the teachers so far are really good about like hey if you want to host a party like just an all girls party that's fine you need to specify it's all girls or all boys but it can't be like you know susie lila lily and beth all get to come to the party but the other 17 kids don't get to go to the party so that has to be fair and we like it's always a sore so. subject for like my daughter because she wants to invite everybody for her birthday party mm-hmm. that we don't have because we're on spring break out of the state but so every time a birthday party comes up she's like oh can we go i was like i did not get an invite if we do not get an invite i cannot go like this yeah this isn't the fucking crusade where i could just bust down doors i'm here bitches surprise like yeah. get to be invited and she, I don't know how many times last year alone where she'd come home and she'd be like oh, we're going to this party on Saturday I was like no I didn't get an invite Saturday comes and goes and she's just tears and everything it's like I, why didn't we go I was like I did not get an invite mm-hmm. their mom and dad did not invite anybody so likely what it was was either an all boys or it was you know you didn't make the cut yeah, kids talking to kids, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I'm very blunt about it too. I was like, you may think somebody's a friend, but you may not be a friend to them. That's perfectly okay. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just life. And she, she's really good friends with the daughter of an ex-co-worker of mine. Like, 
her mom and dad used to work uh, work underneath me technically i was a supervisor they were beneath me but kids are in the same age same school everything so i know them very well we i talk to them by uh, a regular basis <laughs> but they're like hey can we go to her birthday party it's like their mom and dad did not send an invite yeah but she said she's told it it does not matter like whatever your little friends tell you does not equate to an invite. Yeah. Mom and dad have a fountain. I tell you this right now. If you invite kids over to a house party or a birthday party and somebody fucking shows up at my door, you ain't gonna like it. <laughs> you ain't gonna be friends anymore. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna be real quick of going, who are you? Well, your daughter said we can come. No, no. This is now going to go one of two ways. I'm going to call you out. I'm going to embarrass you. Or I'm going to be a little rude. And be like, mm, no, I didn't. I think you misheard or you misunderstood. Please go away. Now. Out of here. Go. And. Like. Thank God it hasn't happened. But. She's. She's made friends with one of the neighbor kids. Mm -hmm. And they're. They're all knocking on my fucking door. Is she here? Yes. Can she play? No. It's 7 o'clock at night. We have to get ready for school the next day. So we're, we're wrapping up the day. She has to go to bed. Well, can she play for like five minutes? No. It's the end of the day. She needs to get ready for, for bed so we're, because she has school tomorrow. You have school tomorrow too. You go to the same school. Oh, uh, are you sure? <laughs> like do you hear me speak <laughs> like, I'm so fucking baffled and like that generally happened uh, it was Thursday night last week I was just so fucking like blown away of, I just said no and my daughter does it too can we go out and play no I want to no you're starting to piss me off like, now we're going from a I told you once very nicely told you a second time not so nicely so i'm going to tell you a third time like button gloves are off i'm done you won't mm -hmm. be able to do anything oh birthday parties they're coming up see yep. and this just beginning here like my ours hasn't even started yet you're like what a weekend two Better. weeks in yeah so yep. this is second week yeah yeah so ours hasn't even started yet so i think we're probably going to have some more episodes to to talk about school life and everything else that's going on. Yeah, cool. probably we had have plans. We have nine months of school, so. Oh yeah. Stay tuned for that. It never ends. It does. We're at school. It ends. Yeah, but they're not. So it never ends. Feels like it's never going to. It's a song that never ends. It goes on and on. And on. Never end. Some people. Yep. No, no. Yeah, it, yeah. Stay tuned for more back to school or more school shit. It's, it's a plenty. We are dads for the rest of our life. It's a plenty. Mm. Uh, I'll stay tuned for video game updates. Uh, this week, there is a massive one for Call of Duty, for World of Warcraft, uh, for I think Overwatch. Or, there's just a bunch. So I will be, I will. He only participates in one episode. So stay tuned for that. It'll come out sometime this week, probably Friday. So that's all I got. Yeah. Check us out on Thursdays when we play and do random shit. Hey, we've been getting wins. Me okay. too. Three, three, <laughs> three wins, but yeah. Played uh played a lot better last week. Played fairly well. Sig might be getting a little bit better, or maybe I, I carried him a lot. Of, I don't know, but we won. Or the methods are working to the easier lot. Could be that too. Or you're Maybe. sucking so much that I just look good. He plugged his VPN back in, so that's what we'll, we'll just plug him on that. Or we'll back on his VPN. So, yes, check us out Thursday nights where we cheat and play Call of Duty all the time. 
It is. It's your VPN. <laughs> Check us out then. Till the next one. Bye, bitch. <laughs>